Hello, today I'd like to take a look at Ship Graveyard Simulator 2. You're all busy people, so let me answer your most pressing question first. Are you going to enjoy it? The 30 second spiel is that this game is a job simulator. Your job is to plan how to break down ships into their parts and go about that with a variety of tools that you can upgrade to make things easier. Fundamentally, the game is a puzzle game and the ships are three-dimensional puzzles that you have to solve in order to get the most money possible. This is a game that will appeal to players who enjoy job simulators and puzzles that you have to solve. If that sounds like something you'd like, then stay with me and we'll go deeper into the details. Special thanks go to Games Incubator and Playaway for the review key. This review is based on about 10 hours of gameplay. All opinions and footage are solely the authors. All ships eventually reach the end of their life. And for most commercial ships, they end up in India, where they're broken down into their parts and sold for scrap. You play the part of an Indian shipbreaker and that's your job. The first thing you have to do is buy a ship. More expensive ships have more components for you to sell. Ships come with contracts that you can fulfill for extra money. I've already been through the tutorial, so I'll buy the third ship. Scrapping ships gives you different types of materials and you can sell them for money. But aside from metals, it's best to keep your materials, unless you're really short on cash. You can invest some of that money to upgrade your tools. First you need to buy the blueprints for money, then you use materials to build them. The benefit is that you can work more effectively and therefore break ships faster. Then comes the actual ship breaking. Ships have multiple levels and a variety of rooms. The first thing you should do is pick up all the loose items. They're usually good for the contracts and you want to make sure you grab them all before demolishing because you lose them otherwise. Once you've got a full load, you need to get on the truck. And apparently everybody in India is some kind of hulk because you can flip loads pretty far. Some of the more advanced ships also have hazards like electricity and gas. You have to trace them and turn them off to avoid hurting yourself. Once you've scabbed all the goodies, you can start dismantling the ship itself. The best way is to start from the top. You've got four types of tools to deal with different types of attachments. And once all the attachments are gone, you can use your hammer to knock down the item into its parts. Then you can pick them up and flip them into your truck. Individual items are pretty easy to disassemble, but the complexity comes from the way they're put together. For example, if you take down the ladder before you finish the level above, you can find yourself stranded and unable to finish the upper levels. You have to make sure that you can always reach all parts of the ship. If you take apart the floor under some items, they'll be destroyed and you'll miss out on the contracts. Some parts have to be moved by a crane. First you have to remove the attachments and any obstructions like floors above the item. And no, you can't get yourself pulled up. The part will be moved into the recycling center. Once you've got some material on the truck, you can take it to the recycling center to sort it. This takes place in the form of a minigame where you have to put items into the correct buckets and you'll get a small bonus for doing it right. As you get more difficult ships, the puzzle of how to take them apart becomes more complex. If we check out the $1200 ship, which is the fourth most expensive one, you can see that there's a lot more levels and rooms to it. As I said before, this game is fundamentally about solving a puzzle and the reward is getting the most money from each ship. Finishing a ship can take quite a bit of time. We're looking at more than an hour for each. And of course, upgrading your tools makes a big difference to how quickly you can work. So at least a few upgrades are pretty important to get. The game is a pretty relaxed experience. Like most job simulators, it's about getting focused on doing a job and going about it. Ship Graveyard Simulator 2 comes out on the 16th of August. And from the looks of it, Owners of the first game will get a hefty discount on it. If you enjoy puzzle type challenges, then this game may be something to look into. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments. Feel free to leave a like, subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified when new videos come out. See you soon.